anyway I have added here a lovely planner kit so that um, you can add your daily weekly monthly um, you know thoughts or you know plan your week out as you go I've added here to the middle some precious stones and uh, just made little beads bead dangles out of those so I'm hoping that they're, they're in camera enough that you can actually see them right there because I can't really see what's going on in the camera so <laughs> it's a bit of guesswork for me. There we have another hummingbird and I've actually put, I've made this one into a little paper clip with a hummingbird on the, on the edge so you can actually move that around and tuck that on any, any page that you like. Got a beautiful owl here and it says when the owl shows up in your life it's time to look for subtle signs around you pay attention to the winds of change perhaps you're about to leave some old habits behind you or bring something new into your life so i have got two little tuck spots in there and we have the wolf and we have the bear um, tucked inside of those so The owl on that side and the deer. The deer is a mystical animal totem. The deer's antlers can grow back once they fall, making the deer revered in many cultures as a symbol of life regeneration. If the deer is your spirit guide, you could tap into life's magical ability to renew itself. And then down below I've got one of her sayings, each of us needs what nature gives us when nature gives it. So I think there's something in that for all of us. I've used this ribbon here in a um, belly band sort of tuck style that you can clip things through if you want to. On this side I've got a bookmark tag which I've added some lovely fabric to along the bottom and you've got your fox as your guide. With your fox as your guide you can work at developing your mental skills. The power of observation and deduction can come into play more powerfully in how you deal with your daily matters. So they're sort of like, um, you know, life affirmations even too. And on the back we've got a lovely seahorse. So you could write on that if you wanted to. And that's just tucked into the lovely owl, the beautiful owl we've got there. And I've got an owl stamp on this side. So we've got some more of the book. Oops. Some more of the book. That's one of my eco dyed pages. Growing plants from cuttings, which is probably also a handy tip if you like gardening. Making a plant press, which is something that us journalists love to do, journal makers. I've got some stamped writing paper there and a lovely leaf stamp on the corner of some coffee dyed paper so you can imagine as you're writing through this these things just inspire you to write nice things in your work so we've got the lovely dandelions there another owl and we have a tuck spot here with a dragonfly just a bit of collage and one of Jibbid's B cards which is nicely lined so you can actually write on that and then on the back I have behind it I have from the kit another of the lined marble papers which blend in so well with everything. I've got a dandelion stamp here. Um, we have a butterfly here. The butterfly is one of the most symbolic animals re regarding the power of personal metamorphosis. It is about elevation from earthly matters and tuning into emotional or spiritual findings and you can write on the back of that I have a lovely little leaf and I've used the writing background for a pocket there and on this side I have put a lovely photo of gorgeous forest which I thought was very inspiring to drive through really pretty I have a feeling that might be a Canadian forest it's very pretty. Another bee and this is from Poppiness is Bee collection. She has some really nice bee tags and I just made a little bee bookmark 
with a B stamp to go with that. And we've got the B story. Some um, sort of science grid paper to write on. And a lot of nice greenery. I've added you know, leaves and ferns and, and some lovely green paper just to give you that foresty, earthy feel. I've got a little tuck spot here and I've made a butterfly tag which you can write on underneath because I've put some writing paper there. So you've got another spot, lots of extra spots for writing. And this is just folded over with some a tab and some fabric trim. And here I've got a little press daisy which is just under some... Um, Oh, it's sort of like light acetate tinted. It just shows through. And another another saying from Claude Monet. So these are sprinkled all through the book. And if I stop to tell you each one, we'll probably be here till Christmas. So I'll just speed it up a bit. <laughs> um, the lovely Labrador stamp, which I really adore, walking through a forest. Some more of my um, eco dyed some pretty rose leaves and over here I've got the leaf of the pepper tree and they did come up quite well they brought up some really nice colors and I've got a lovely Tasmanian forest which I think is deep in the Tarkine beautiful mossy trees so you can see it's an area that did get a lot of rain I've got a little tag stuck under there that you can actually write on and the wolf as your spirit guide and here we've got a Tasmanian bird spirit animal and that's a, from a calendar a Rob Blaker's car calendar this paper here is painting paper and it's um, for acrylic paint so you can actually paint on that now I've put a few sort of painting ones in so this is a giant Tasmanian myrtle and I thought that had a really nice old feel to it like of the early lands and a very spiritual feel to it with the wolf on the front. We've got some owls here and a little owl bookmark and here we have a pocket, a wolf pocket with an eagle tucked inside. So I've got a beautiful eagle and I've just got in there to a little writing tag so you can actually pull that out. So I'm at a funny angle so it's a bit hard to pull things out but you've got a spot there that you can actually write on and it's got one of the lovely oval birds on the back which make really nice decorations. I think it's a hawk on the back of that one. So we have here, um, this one actually, I put a note to remind me that that wasn't one of mine. That's actually um, an eco print from Gibbard Neary's collection. I have a lovely map of Tasmania there and a beautiful hawk from the kit, poppiness kit. And that just shows how you can use the oval ones. Um, if you've got a long narrow space, they make a nice bookmark or a long pull out so you can actually write on the back of that it gives you just that bit more writing space if you're in a writing frenzy and you need a bit more room animal spirit guide for native americans the hawk is the earth's guardian in spirit form the hawk flies continuously remaining ever vi vigilant and i've added the rest of the hawk story to a pull out so that you can continue to read about the hawk and on this side you've got tons of writing space. Over here we've got a lovely fern, fern leaf and a beautiful bear pocket. So I've added a little spot at the top so you can tuck things and I've also got a tuck at the side with an eagle and I've left that for writing space or notes so you can fit a few more things in. I haven't filled up every possible space. Here we've got a dragonfly and a lovely pocket with a bee, another bee card to write on. And this little bit is from one of Poppiness's bee tags. She's 
got very detailed bees on there and I thought that all went together quite well and it just goes to show how well it blends with other kits nice green tag there that's another one from her bee kit and I've used that on the background with the writing on it which I really love goes with so much it blends really well and the greens all just go together so nicely more writing space and a fern stamp over here. We've got a bit stuck. We've got a dragonfly page with lots of little spots for dragonfly writing. Dragonfly tucks in there. Um, another one of Jibbid's collage pages. Mushrooms. Gotta love the mushrooms. And this is like a giant seed pod. And uh, another idea I got from Jibbard, who is just wonderful at these beautiful things. This is vellum that I have dyed. And I've just added a little tab on the side with some pretty fabric and a dragonfly. There. So to me it looks like a giant seed pod. It might look like a leaf or something else to other people. And I've just used a bit of sort of collaged um, bookmark page that you can write on and on the back I've got one of the beautiful powerful eagle totems and there so that's lovely the eagle story the fox stamp heaps of writing space in here which is great another one of um, Jibbid's planner pages so that you can put the days of the week and and you can add to that as to um, what you want to put in it adapt it to whatever you're doing at the time so we've got a lovely mushroom there you might need to change the the day the numbers on the bottom but the pictures are still beautiful another eagle tag a tough spot there a powerful eagle and over this side I have another piece of uh, a vellum that I have um, dyed with some inks, Ranger inks, and I've just sewn a pattern on that. And on the top I've put a scroll, and this is another one of Jibbard's wonderful ideas from her. If you haven't seen her Woodland books, please go over and have a look because she has some just beautiful ideas, wonderful. And I've put on that one of the little sayings from the poppiness kit and that is forget not that the earth delights to feel your bare feet and the winds long to play with your hair Cahill Ka Gibran so that's a, a little scroll that just rolls up on a stick which gives you that very earthy forest floor feel and it just rolls around with a little piece of string which you can just wrap around your circle there and tuck down so another wonderful gibbet invention and then I've got um, another of Poppiness's sayings on the back how how I do love the earth I feel it thrill under my feet I feel somehow as if it were conscious of my love as if something passed into my dancing blood from it James Russell Lowell got some birds eggs and some birds because they're always in the forest another lovely tuck spot with a butterfly tag and I think that's I think that might be an Artie Mays one and a gibbered butterfly which I've made just a little spot to um, write on Midsummer Night's Dream library card so they all just tuck in behind the lovely butterfly totem from the kit so there's loads of butterflies in here we've got a lovely deer there she's beautiful deer page um, animal guide little picture on that one and then I've got the fox spirit animal on this one now this one just it has a little magnet to pull it in but it just pulls out so on here we've got the fox the bear and the wolf 
which reminds me a lot of Grimm's fairy tales because they were always the main characters, weren't they? And they always told the stories and the tales or they always had, you know, that um, sort of ethical background teaching children. So on the back of this flip out, I've just put a magnet under there, under the ribbon to hold it down and the cards just fold in with a little bit of writing space in between. So that clips down. I've got The Woodlanders by Thomas Hardy as the card, the library card. Let's flip over there. On this corner I have a hawk from the kit. Um, and I've got a beautiful photo of a hawk by Jen. Oops. By Jen Parker, who does some absolutely gorgeous wildlife photography. And I'd like to thank her very much for allowing me to use her beautiful photographs as tags in some of my journals. She takes the most gorgeous wildlife photos and I think she just happens to be in the right spot at the right time to get these magnificent shots. So that's a beautiful hawk and there are hawks in the kit of course. So I'll flip over rather quickly because we've got quite a lot to get through. We've got the wolf here and this lovely trim that I've got along the bottom just to set it off and another one of Jen's gorgeous eagle pictures really beautiful and doesn't that look magnificent I mean he really does look very regal in that pose so I'll just split rather quickly we've got a mushroom with a hawk in the top and a lovely mushroom stamp over here I've used an envelope to make a pocket there with a tag in the top with the deer as a mystical animal totem, totem which goes in there and then this side I've got a beautiful paint chip card which just had the most loveliest sayings on it that I thought fitted so well with the forest theme and that was morning fog babbling stream and blue willow and that just tucks into the envelope and you can actually read the words coming through the window and I put another of um, Poppiness's sayings on the bottom from Wordsworth have a lovely fox here die cut and a nice tree stump in the forest a beautiful osprey picture from Jen Parker gorgeous photography he looks beautiful on his post some more of that um, acrylic paint paper I've got a lovely piece of um, tracing paper here which I have coloured in ranger inks and I've got a nice strip of washi tape down the side some beautiful forest trees with another saying at the top give that forest feel. Some more of my eco dyeing. You can see the beautiful gum leaves that have come out and the shapes. Nice pepper tree leaf there. Some butterflies. A lovely piece of Japanese rice paper for doing some ink drawing on or painting. Another of the books with Melaleuca in it and calistamins and bottle brushes which are all Australian native plants nice butterfly there some more of the art paper some lovely owls with a gorgeous little tag, mini tag in there cute Jen's lovely owls powerful owls they're very pretty they're actually baby owls butterfly stamp on this side 
berries, brambles, some butterflies, a lovely butterfly stamp. And I've used one of the butterflies as a lovely tuck spot on that paper bag, which I've just put a dingo, one of Jen's dingo puppy pictures, which are quite cute. And the dingoes are a much maligned creature in Australia at the moment, and they really are being forced to the edge of extinction. And they are a spirit animal in animal symbolism. Dingo, an Australian native, symbolises adaptability and change. And of course it has great meaning to the Aboriginal people, a spirit leader for them. Some mushrooms, another gorgeous owl. This is a different kind of owl. It's a tawny frogmouth owl. Tawny owl. A mushroom tuck. Here we've got another beautiful eagle picture that Jen has captured. She's so good at capturing this beautiful photography. This one here is a CD pocket, envelope pocket, and I've just made a tag to go inside of that. And that's the B symbol from the kit. And I used a, a butterfly from the kit on the top. So I'll flip that through. Um, some butterflies. Another, um, I think this is Ephemera's Garden. Um, from her planner kit just as a few little spots to note things down I've got another one of those lovely envelopes to stash secret things in and this one has another little note to the owner and some gorgeous Australian native animals we've got some kangaroos or wallabies here we have a lovely echidna another spirit animal and we have some koalas and um, it says on the back the native bear Kubaru is the sage counsellor of the aborigines in all their difficulties when bent on a dangerous expedition the men will seek help from this clumsy creature but in what way his opinions are made known is nowhere recorded he is revered if not held sacred the koala says listen to your dreams Koalas spend nearly all of their time way up in the branches of their beloved eucalyptus tree home, eating leaves and sleeping precariously far from the ground. Koalas can snooze up to 18 hours a day. Think of all the dream realms they could go in this time. It's believed that koalas can gather knowledge and answers whilst in this state. So the koala, the kangaroo and the echidna are all spirit animals in the aboriginal sense so i've actually added all their totems on the back um, and i know it's not politically correct to call the koala bear a bear in scientific terms but it's um, culturally been known as a bear for quite a long time and clearly the aboriginals use that term too if the word they use is native bear so there you go Here we've got a beautiful dragonfly and that's another gorgeous photo from Jen Parker. It's really lovely, she's so clever, very pretty. So we have the dragonfly as one of our totem animals or insects, insects and birds. Here we've got the crow which we all know is a very spiritual, spiritual being. And also in mythology, it's um, something that's gone back for many, many generations. And the queen actually keeps the crows to ward off any danger. If the crows leave, she knows it's no longer safe, so she keeps them there. This is the kookaburra, another Jen Parker photograph. And I've just added to the top, all nature wears one universal grin because kookaburras laugh 
so I thought that went well with it and that's from the kit as well another crow a little tag spot there with an ant and a lovely gold leaf on this side I have an embossed crow with a crown as a pocket and I've got another tag in there with the spirit animal carries the energy of life and the power for deep inner transformation if the crow has chosen you it supports you in developing your power of insight and intentions and I've got butterflies on the back so we've got a few crow pages and a crow feather lovely crow pocket there which is another paper bag with a little envelope that says seize the day carpe diem which I thought was lovely a little envelope to put some treasures in so that just goes in the paper bag on this side I've got a lovely tag with a crow and another part of the crow story about um, powers of insight and intentions and I've just used the little crow word at the bottom there. I've got a lovely stamp here of um, Tim Holtz crow. Hopefully I'm in the middle of the shot. Some beautiful butterflies. Some more die cut moths and butterflies. The hawk there. And a little tuck spot. These are actually Jibbered Neary's little creations of her eco dye pockets, which I thought went really well to tuck them in. Another of the pages from the kit with lines and a, and a bee, a die cut bee. Heath, which is another of the pages from the native plant books. Um, some more Japanese tissue, Japanese. Um, rice paper another dragonfly card um, just a tag it's got a bird on the back which you can use for a bookmark or whatever um, here I've got a beautiful echidna which is one of our spirit animals and you can write on the back of these cards I've put all things that love the sun are out of doors. That's another little saying from the kit. I've just tucked that in there on the Echo Dye pages. Over here I've got some really pretty um, sari silk trim with a gorgeous dragonfly pocket with a tag in and a lovely butterfly card over here that you can write on just in a little corner tuck pocket with a little collage button on it. So, more mushrooms and some lovely gibbered moths. A tuck with a little postcard in, and I think that might be, hmm, I think it's a Tracy Fox postcard that I've just tucked in because it had a lovely butterfly on. So, we've got the butterfly spirit there. We've got some lovely ferns again more butterflies there's just so many in this kit there's some lovely um, pockets there with some more of the smaller um, tags on with hawks two beautiful hawks which if you've ever seen them in flight and hunting on the wetlands they are really really lovely and I've just put a little dictionary saying there um, life the state of being alive animals and plants ability to function and grow period during which life lasts living things way of living the bear so i've got a lovely bear tag there he's a nice bear honored by shamans so a lot of this does go back to spirituality some berries which bears love to eat and there's another bear tuck spot there and I haven't I haven't filled up all of these spots because um, it's just so fat I wouldn't fit any more in egg and bacon peas and this is a gorgeous little bag paper bag um, glassine bag with animal 
spirit guide and some beautiful bears and I've got a lovely wolf tag in that one and a dear little envelope in there with ferns on it so I thought that was quite cute so I'll tuck that in there some more mushrooms I put little butterflies in there um, I have got stones as I mentioned before at the bottom there's a lovely green stone there and some little beads and there's a heart stone a little brown stone and this one is the peace um, balance yin and yang sign butterflies banksias daisies and everlasting some more Australian native plants and another bear tuck with a today card so a, a life card that you can write on some more beautiful ferns have a nice envelope here with some owls in it and the lovely butterfly butterfly card so I've got a little owl sort of tuck pull out spot which you can get from Zoe it's gorgeous owls here yeah. lovely crows I love the crows that's why they're scattered all through the book I've got a little flip corner spot for writing there and flip up and write a little secret note some gorgeous die cuts from Tim Holtz it's a lovely collection of crows another of Artie Mays's flip butterflies for writing on some more ferns butterfly stamp butterfly writing spot some more butterflies I think they're Tracy Fox's butterflies Tracy Fox's arabesque papers and another gorgeous owl here on the, the lovely um, background with the writing on it from the marble collection from Poppiness And I have a beautiful crow there, which is another pocket, and uh, it has just a little bit of collaging and stitching. Some of them I have stitched around, and some of them I haven't, so that you can see both ways of how it's done. Now, this one here is an actual. Um, this is the cardstock I was talking about. That is my original eco dyed pages, and you can see the difference between the scanned ones and the actual ones this one has been coated with um, some gesso to give it that sort of um, sort of leather feel so that it's waterproofed and um, not powdery so they do have a bit of powdery flaking this on the surface and you can see how thick that is but that color goes really well with the bee so I've actually made a really nice bee spirit pocket there with a library card in it and a little more eco dyeing some more ferns and dragonflies a lovely butterfly butterfly guides you to be sensitive to find joy in life and to move gracefully from one perspective to the other ferns mushroom page flip up so you've got plenty of room for writing loads of room for writing in here another little tag in the wolf animal symbolism and some more of my um, paper that I've just dyed um, played around with some colored paper I've made a dragonfly pocket here which is a fabric one and I've stamped on it with dragonflies and gum nuts and gum leaves and put one of oh, one of uh, Mrs. Cog's lovely dragonflies in there along with the dragonfly from the kit which is a little pocket over here dragonfly is a powerful and graceful navigator as your spirit guide the dragonfly will show you the way out of the roughest storm and give you the confidence to navigate your way back to your spiritual center 
another one of the book pages flowering plants gorgeous dragonfly here beautiful picture and the animal totem for the dragonfly and that's just another one of my plant transfer pages a hummingbird card with some lovely sari silk and trim on the bottom and on the back I've actually put um, some tea dyed paper and a, just a little cute little note a little message and just made a little pocket and I've got the hummingbird here on a pocket in there I've put some handmade paper so you can write on that and that's in just a paper bag and in there I've also got another hummingbird card and I've just put some pretty trim on that and she can write on the back there because there is the lined area another of Artie Mays fold over butterflies bird's nest and this beautiful page I really love this one with the writing around the edge and the lines to write on Gorgeous, powerful owls and some dingoes, some Australian dingoes. A little mushroom on the end of the tab. Some stenciling, some line paper, a cute little coin pocket here that you can undo and pop things in if you want to. And that just pops out and you can have a little secret stash in there. And I've got a card at the back here with a beautiful dingo and that's another one of Jen Parker's gorgeous photographs and um, on the back it says the dingo leaders intelligent playful and curious a faithful totem animal that reminds us to take risks be adaptable and to keep our eyes and ears peeled for opportunities that may present themselves highly valued by indigenous people as hunting aids spiritual and physical protectors and companions and are thought by some to be reincarnated ancestor spirits so to our original people they are very very important and we should be preserving them not treating them as enemies but it's the same in other countries with coyotes and things like that so we have another piece of handmade paper there some little flower petals in and this cute little tag I made from some of the leftover marble paper with just a little tag on the inside has a, like a little bookmark or somewhere to write so it's a little extra bit I made a little window oh, window butterfly here which is quite cute and there's a lot of people that are making those at the moment um, that one I think came from Caroline's Craft Tree so we have some more of the dyed, dyed paper some ferns some more these are lovely gum leaves here which are um, eco dyed pages so they went well with the Australian theme another little flip spot and these are from Jibbard's planner um, so obviously you would need to change the numbers of the dates the days probably don't correspond but the pictures are still so lovely and you can still write on them they're really nice I have an envelope here that I've recycled and I've just got a lovely butterfly card inside that so you can see it in the window So a bit of collage here with the button and a little bit of stenciling around there, some mushrooms on and the last little bee pocket with a gorgeous bee card. I love these little bee tags, they're very pretty. You can write on the back of that one, it's just a little tuck and that's some more eco dyed page behind and you can see that's the very last of the eco dyed one and it's quite thick actually feels like leather the texture of it it's so thick and this is a little animal guide book that I made with the circle and it just is of leftover papers so you can just use it as a notebook 
so you've got bits that kind of flip this way and bits that flip or tuck that way a few little scraps just to write in put phone numbers in um, a picture of some puppies on the beach there just little scraps left over bits tucks so that goes in there and in the back of that there's a little pocket which has another book um, library card and the deer so it's a little extra one in there so she can put the extra ones wherever she desires so there's a tuck in the back there and that's the back so we have reached the end of this enormous book you can see how full it is there's so much packed in there so thank you very much for sticking with me and watching all of this enormous book I um, hope you enjoyed it and I will put below where to get that wonderful kit so that you can find the spirit animals so um, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you next time bye